In this video, I'm gonna go through what makes memorization really effective and really strong so you don't end up forgetting. Let's go. Hi, it's Tansel here, four-time Australian memory champion helping you learn faster and better. If you think this stuff's helpful, please subscribe to the channel and like if you really wanna help us out too. So thank you very much for that. Now, memorization. When we try and memorize stuff, we know that we have to use our senses, we have to use exaggeration, we can use color, we can do all that cool stuff, as I mentioned in my earlier videos. But we want to make it so that we can still remember stuff later on down the track. And the cool thing is, is that by understanding how the brain works and how encoding works, we can retain information for a very long time. Now, I've got this cool whiteboard behind me, and I'm gonna go through and explain, just, just in basic diagrams, on how that essentially works. So let's look at, let's just call this circle memorization. Now, we're making a story here, and memorization works by making stories, as we've spoken about earlier. So here's our little narrative we made. We've added color in there. We've done all that cool stuff. And then when we want to retrieve information from that, right, this is what we call recall. So let's say the R. The R represents recall. Now, depending on how we make this story, if we forget, that means there's not enough information, there's not enough juice in the story to help our recall. So the recall becomes weak, it becomes broken up, right? So pretend that's a broken line. The recall's broken up. The way to strengthen that recall is to keep feeding the story. Keep feeding the story. So whether it is, making the story more memorable by adding more color. As I said, exaggerate the, the scene, right? You look at movies, that it's all exaggerations. Why? Because it helps you to remember and helps you to engage. The opposite of that, if you wanna forget, make things less engaging. <laughs> we, we can do that in another video. So if we want to strengthen this R, this recall, now instead of going back and repeating all the time, because that's what we're taught in rote learning, what we're going to do instead of this repetition is we're just going to make this story bigger and better, right? Let's take a story for example now. Let's say you want to remember someone's name and let's say that person's name is John, right? I'm just going to pick John as an example. Now, why I say John? Because my father-in-law's name's John, right? He's a great guy and he loves playing golf. So now instead of just saying golf and John in there, I have to make a connection, a story with Golf and John, right? Those two things are just not strong enough at the moment. So I picture John playing golf. Okay, that, that's kind of strong, but it's still an image. Okay, maybe his golf club is really big. Massive golf club. Okay, I've suddenly made that a little bit more bigger. I've you know, made the story somehow more visually appealing, but that's not enough, having one golf club a, a lot bigger. Right, where's he playing at? Maybe the golf club, or maybe it's St. Andrews. Okay, if you know what that is in golfing terms, it's a, quite a popular place to play golf at. Right, okay, so John, my father-in-law, is playing golf at St. Andrews. So the story is going bigger and bigger, but I can make that even more powerful. Now, how did he get to St. Andrews in the first place? Did he get an invitation? It could take years to get to play there. Right, so I could say, okay, maybe it was uh, Shane Warne <laughs> who introduced him because uh, he got a special invitation there once. That's what I remember anyway. So he got introduced by Shane Warne. How does he know Shane Warne? So I get deeper and deeper into the story. And as I get deeper and deeper, these circles keep getting bigger and bigger. And because they get bigger and bigger, guess what happens? This recall gets stronger. So that's what you need to be able to do. You need to be able to think of, okay, I've got my images, right? I've got the name, let's say John, and I've got uh, whatever it is attached to here, the story. Right? In my case, it's, it's golf or whatever it is. And what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to make these circles a lot bigger. Bigger and bigger each time. Now you're probably thinking, well, okay, I've just met someone and I need to remember their name or 10 others. How do I do it so quickly? Right? Well, the thing is, you're not going to obviously, get, you're not going to get enough time to make this story bigger and bigger. So there's other strategies around that. And we can touch upon that in uh, other videos. But for now, 
Let's say that you really want to remember something, and like I said, it could be anything, not just a name. We're just talking about abstract data, and other abstract data could be what you read, uh, it could be, like I said, numbers, different languages, whatever it is. So you're taking that abstract data, you're making the story a lot bigger, and you're getting better recall. And that's what really happens at the end of the day. If you really want effective recall, you have to make these stories a lot stronger. If you want to fail at memorizing, then don't make any stories. Just see if you can remember the images. You, you still be able to remember them, but it won't be as powerful. Another example is my name, Tansel. Now, some people say Tinsel, Tonsel, yell out, hey, you Tinsel, <laughs> right? What we want to be able to do is say, okay, not just Tinsel, Tansel, we want to be able to maybe, you know, put Tinsel around my head and put me on a Christmas tree, right? <laughs> then what happens? There's a little story developing there. And, or how do I get there? Ask a lot of questions, how, what, why, how, when, who. And as soon as you add those other elements in there, guess what? The story builds and expands, and then your recall expands. So that's how you improve your recall ability. And the more you do this, guess what? Your recall is going to last a longer period of time. So that's when you get the long-term recall happening and not just for short term. So that's it. Very quick uh, summary of how to make your memorization more effective. Uh, if you really feel like this has helped you, uh, please like the channel uh, and subscribe as well so we can get more of these videos out there. Thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.